At 25, many people are just laying down roots, starting a job, maybe even planning a family. But all of that can come to an abrupt halt with the phrase, you have cancer. Not many 25 year olds think about cancer or are faced with cancer. And I didn't really know how to be a 25 year old dealing with cancer. It can be a life altering journey, but as this survivor tells us, you don't have to go at it alone. In this seven eyewitness news extra reporter Liz Lewin brings us a fight with faith surviving cancer at 26. I have to fight with faith, I have to fight with strength, and I have to fight with positivity. Alicia Keller lives every day like it's her last. At just 25 years old, she was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, an aggressive form of cancer. This past year, she says, has been a journey no one could ever really prepare her for, especially at such a young age. Not many 25-year-olds think about cancer or are faced with cancer, and I didn't really know how to be a 25-year-old dealing with cancer. And Alicia isn't alone. Roswell Park Cancer Institute reports each year nearly 72,000 adolescents and young adults between the ages of 15 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer in the United States. And unlike pediatric and elderly patients, little progress has been made in their survival rates over the past 30 years. Of the 14 million cancer survivors in the U.S., one in five is under the age of 40. These patients were not children when they were diagnosed or treated, and yet they still have so many productive years ahead of them. Dr. Linda Kwan Bopin is a pediatric oncologist who works with patients like Alicia every day. She says their journey in particular is often lonelier than most cancer patients because of their sensitive circumstance. When you walk into a hospital, especially when you're treating cancer, the majority of patients are not young adults. They are older and so many times many young adults face a cancer diagnosis and go through the whole treatment journey feeling alone because because when they look around, there's no one else like them. Alicia's experience was no different. I didn't want any support from the outside. I was going to use my doctors and the resources that I had, but I was going to fight by myself. But that all changed when she came to Roswell Park for treatment and found a community of survivors just like her. Roswell's adolescent and young adult program offers unlimited support to this unique patient population through monthly workshops and a variety of other resources. Something project coordinator Odochi Wazarike says is crucial to cultivating a sense of survivorship. Our group workshops uh, really vary. Sometimes we have a specific topic that we focus on, um, such as fertility, um, insurance issues, financial toxicity, or returning to work in school. And sometimes it's just an opportunity for people to just come and like vent or talk, tell us where, what is happening in their life or where they're at currently with treatment. For Alicia, getting to share her passion for beating with her peers at last month's work workshop was particularly special. It was an opportunity, she says, to share something meaningful that continues to get her through even the toughest of times. As a cancer survivor and when I was a patient, I used beads to remember that even though today may suck because I'm getting a couple of blood transfusions or I might be getting chemo or I just might not feel very good, I was alive. And I was so happy that I got to be alive in that day. At 26, Alicia is now in remission and back at work full time, surviving and moving forward with what she calls a renewed sense of life. Survivorship means to me living every single day like it's my last, but also living that day like I'm going to live forever. And that was our Liz Lewin reporting for us. We are so happy that Alicia is getting better. And is it not so true that when you're going through that cancer journey, it is made so much better, if you can, with people around you? Yeah, such a strong person, strong message tonight. Yeah, Alicia, we appreciate you sharing your story with us.